Hello, my name is Tiffany and welcome to the 40 Sundays YouTube channel where I am dedicated to bringing you practical and uplifting biblical insights and words of encouragement. Let's journey through the wisdom of the scriptures and discover how to apply them to enrich our everyday lives. Subscribe now and be a part of a community seeking to live out the teachings of the Bible in meaningful ways. Let's grow together in faith and understanding. Good afternoon, family. I am so excited to share this word with you today. This word came to me a couple of Sundays ago. I found myself in a church where the spirit of the Lord was so high that it was almost tangible. I've recently started reading the Bible from the beginning because I am wanting to deepen my understanding of the word, not only to help me to provide deeper meaning and context to the words that I bring forth, but also because it's fun and it's, it's, it's interesting. In fact, I find the Bible more entertaining than most TV dramas out there today. During this service, as I lifted my arms in worship, I felt the Lord ministering to me about the battle between the Israelites and the Amalekites. Intrigued when I got home that afternoon, I dove into research to uncover the meaning and the symbolism of raised hands. This led me to today's message, which is titled The Power of Raised Hands, and the word is coming from Exodus 17, 10 through 13, which reads, so Joshua fought the Amalekites as Moses had ordered, and Moses, Aaron, and Hur went to the top of the hill. As long as Moses held up his hands, the Israelites were winning, but whenever he lowered his hands, the Amalekites were winning. When Moses' hands grew tired, they took a stone and put it under him, and he sat on it. Aaron and Hur held up held his hands up, one on one side, one on the other, so that his hands remi remained steady till sunset. So Joshua overcame the Amalekites' army with the sword. Through Exodus 17, 10 through 12, I realized that raised hands are a posture of prayer. Throughout the Bible, we see the power of raising our hands in praise and worship. When we lift our hands in thanksgiving, no matter what the challenges we face, the Lord and his people will ultimately prevail. However, if we stop praising God, we give the enemy an opportunity to gain ground. In every situation, we are called to praise God and give thanks to Jesus Christ. In Exodus 17 and 11, it shows us that raised hands symbolize prayer, spiritual dependence, and reliance on God in the face of adversity. When Moses' hands were raised, the Israelites prevailed, but when they were lowered, the tide turned in the favor of the Amalekites. Ultimately, the Israelite success depended on God's intervention. In Exodus 17, 12 through 13, we see that raised hands remind us that God is our defender. Although Moses was physically exhausted, Aaron and her supported him by placing a stone for him to sit on and holding up his hands to ensure their steadiness until sunset. This symbolizes the stability and practical measures taken from Moses to endure the physical demands of keeping his hands outstretched towards the sky. This image serves as an expressive reminder of the importance of the effort, support, and solidarity in facing challenges. It involves assist assistance from our brothers and sisters in the faith. God wants his children to be connected to people who will war with you, who can help lift you up and encourage you to continue to fight. He never intended for us to fight alone. In Exodus 17 and 13, we see that the resolution of the battle, Joshua leads the Israelites to victory with the sword. The victory was a combination of God's intervention and human effort. Overall, these passages 
underscore the importance of spiritual dependence, collective effort, and strategic action in in overcoming obstacles. They remind us of God's faithfulness in delivering and protecting his people. In our challenges, let's lift our hands in prayer. Support one another in faith and find strength in unity. May our hands be pray, raised and, and in praise and our hearts filled with gratitude. Family, I hope that this message spoke to you today and that if you are facing challenges, know that there is power in raising your hands. There is power in unity that you're not in this alone. The Lord wants you to know he's got you. The battle is already won. Don't let the enemy gain ground by lowering your hands and lowering your head. Know that God is with you every step of the way. And he is wanting to intercede and intervene on your behalf today. Family, I love you with the love of Christ. And I hope this word was a blessing to you. If someone came to mind when you heard this word, pass it along. Family, enjoy the rest of your week and we will talk soon. Shalom, shalom.